Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm just going to be showing you guys how to create a front bow design. It's just going to be one today. Um, this is obviously, you can obviously apply this bow design to any of the custom designs. Um, I just personally love the long sleeve dresses and if you follow my Instagram or you've looked at my creative codes, you will realize that literally every single code is pretty much this long sleeve dress. So that's why I'm going to be showing it. It's just my favorite. It, it, it just, it looks the best to me. So we're going to pick out the color that we want our front bow. So in this case for me, it's going to be black. And then we're going to take another color and like many of my other videos, we're going to choose the same hue and vividness, but just make the brightness one higher. And then for a second color, we're going to make the brightness two higher from the initial color. So same hue, same vividness, but three different brightnesses. So with the darkest color, you're going to create a square. And then from there, turn mirror mode on, so press ZR. And you're going to do two pixels at the top, two to the right, and two to the bottom. And then you're just going to fill that in. And now you kind of have like a cute little bow tie. And if you want, you can kind of like do this. And now it kind of goes around to the back. Especially if you're using a skin tone and you make this be where the dress cuts off. It kind of looks like a... This part here, if you make it a skin tone, kind of looks like a neck. So yeah, um, then you can you can just go straight line if you like that look. But what you can also do is you can go two down and then two to the right, two down, two to the right. You can do that however long you want. Or I like going two and then one. And just kind of like leaving it like that sometimes. You can just honestly play around with the number of pixels just to kind of create whatever look you want. I'm just going to stick with this one for right now. So, I mean, this, this is a look, not really. So we want to add dimension to that. And that's where these two colors right here are going to uh, play into hand. I don't know if I said that right. Anyways, so we're going to start with the lightest shade that we're using, and we're just going to go up two pixels right there. And then we're going to go to that middle shade, and we're going to hit two more pixels like that. And it's, it's a very minor detail, but it really does give the dress some dimension. And then from here, we want to take that middle shade again, and we want to cut off the ribbon little stringy parts from like the bow, if that makes any sense. So we're gonna just take that middle shade there and then to the right, then we're gonna take the lightest shade and just fill it in like that. And if you want, you can, that looks weird, don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> and then kind of similar here where we wanna kind of cut up this off, we wanna do the same here. We don't want the collar to be the same color as the bow tie because then it kind of meshes into one and it just looks the same. So if we take the lightest color and use the same theory that we applied down here, we're gonna do two of the lightest color and then two of the medium color. And you can use, when you start using the, when you start making the dress or the shirt or the coat or whatever it is that you have decided to make, you can then start adding shadows underneath the collar, like this, and just in random spots to kind of break it up a little bit, like so. And then if you want to, let's say, extend this to the back, because as you can see, the back has nothing and it has no collar showing, um, or strap or whatever you would call this, we're just gonna come around here, and then that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. And then just cut it off right there or come down one further like so. Or across like this. Like it really doesn't matter how you do it. It's just whatever look you're you're aiming for, that's that's obviously what you want to do. I don't know what look I'm aiming for, so I'm just messing this up continuously. Great, I'll just stick with this. <laughs> um, 
So then starting in the middle, we're going to take this brightest color and we're going to come all the way across in the back and then the middle color up to about where it meets the black on the other side. And yeah, that's it. It's pretty simple and um, just sorry for the short video, but I wanted to just kind of spend a little bit of time and talk about a singular design. And of course, I will be uploading way more bow designs in the future. Um, but yeah, I hope this helped you a little bit and I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you would give it a like and maybe subscribe, I'd really appreciate it, but I don't really care. I mean, I'm just doing this that way. Hopefully people can create these dresses and not have mu as much of a headache as I did when I tried to figure it out for the first time. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.